So stairs are a funny pattern. It's pretty easy to read and understand what you have to do. The hard part is actually executing it correctly. But before we get too deep in the video, take a second to consider subscribing to the channel. My name's Jeff, or you can call me Law Loser, and I make a ton of rhythm game content. I love making videos like this, so if you want to see a video on a specific topic in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know. Anyways, back to the video. So stairs are quite interesting because for me, they're not too complex at first glance, but if you're not prepared, getting caught off guard with one can potentially ruin a full combo fairly easily. But what makes it so difficult? Well, if you take a look at a simple pattern like this, for example, let's have left finger be blue and right finger be red. Beginner rhythm game charting will have you alternate between your left and right fingers. Very rarely in lower level charts will they have you use the same finger twice, but moving up to higher levels, they'll start incorporating jackhammers. Don't confuse these with switches though, though in some cases they're interchangeable, performing them wrong can sometimes result in breaking your combo. Anyways, a common pattern that does show up in lowers are stairs. And we call them that because, well, they look like stairs. And in order to hit the stair, most people will do left, left, right, right. And if you're not used to it, going from alternating fingers to essentially jacks, you're going to get thrown off. So how do we hit this pattern? Well, to my knowledge, there are two ways to tackle it. The first way is what I mentioned earlier is you can treat them as jacks, where you're hitting multiple notes in a row with the same finger, whether it's two notes on each side or using one finger to hit the entire stair. This is my preferred method, and it's usually what I do 90% of the time. The other method I use is with four fingers. I don't know exactly what's the proper term for these. You can call it four key or a pen style. Basically, it's just using multiple fingers from each hand. I mainly use this when there's a ton of stairs chained together, like in Machine Gun Poem Doll Expert or Joel, if you're playing on the JP server. It takes some practice to be able to switch from two fingers to four fingers, but once you can do it smoothly, it really takes off a lot of fatigue when having to do stairs. So now let's talk about practicing. For some reason, for any game that I play, I always have to mash buttons while I'm waiting for the song to start. I think it's my ADHD, but you know, whatever. At some point, I started using this time to practice annoying patterns, which always just defaults to practicing stairs. So I guess the first tip I have is to just practice the motion to build up muscle memory whenever you have time. Whether it's using two fingers or four, the repetition will help. Aside from just downtime during gameplay, I also do this when I'm listening to music and trying to keep in beat with the song. And the last bit of advice I have regarding stairs is 90% of the time, you aren't going as fast as you think you are, resulting in a bunch of late grades. So in my head, whenever I know there's a stair coming up, I have to tell myself to go a little extra faster so that I can hit the stairs on time. It might just be a me thing, I'm not sure, but if you're running into the same issue, it wouldn't hurt to try it. So with all that, let's get to some recommendations. Lost and Found Expert 25, 8-Bit War Expert 28, Voices Expert 25, Pulse of the Meteor Expert 25, don't Fight the Music, Expert 30. Yaminabe, Expert 31. Machine Gun Poem Doll, Expert 31. Hello Planet Master 28. And Piano Forte Scandal, Master 30. I'm sure there's a ton of other songs that are also great practice for stairs, but these are the songs that I personally use to get better at them. Anyways, that's all I have for today. This was a shorter video than normal, but I feel like I hit all the main points. Because realistically, there's only so much I can really talk about stairs. But let me know what you guys think. And if you have your own recommendations for practicing, feel free to drop a comment down below. Once again, my name is Jeff, or you can call me La Loser. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.